My parents had hopes of sending me to college, but right after high school graduation, I suffered a stroke that left me paralyzed. I was eventually able to walk, but always retained a limp. In my mid-twenties, I was well enough to take a job with the Shaw family, where I began to show a strong interest in cooking. With their encouragement, I enrolled in the Boston Cooking School, where I began to understand the association between eating and good health. In 1891, I was appointed director of the cooking school and in 1896 published my impressive, highly significant Boston Cooking School cookbook. In 1899, I opened my own school and it was decidedly creative and inventive, emphasizing the practice of cooking instead of theory. The program was designed to educate housewives rather than to prepare teachers. I also taught cooks to carefully follow recipes and pioneered the use of standard levels such as cups, and tablespoons. Well, during Prohibition, to help soak up the booze and drive up sales, some enterprising speakeasy proprietors began offering more than just gin fizzes, whiskey smashes, and martinis. Rather than heavy meals, their inebriated customers were given assorted bite-sized canapes to snack while mingling in the illicit dens, loud, crowded rooms. And my recipes became very popular. It was also during this period that the custom of hosting cocktail parties at home became fashionable, which led to the popularization of an increasingly wide array of finger foods. Hosts paraded out such popular culinary delights as lobster canapes, radish roses, deviled eggs, and savory cheese balls. Sweet selections included fruit cocktail cups topped with powdered sugar or marshmallows, also my recipes. Now let me show you some popular recipes from the 1918 edition of my cookbook using simple and readily available ingredients that you can easily make this afternoon. To make bread and butter folds, cream butter. Remove end slice from bread. Spread each slice of bread sparingly and evenly with butter. Remove crusts. Put together in pairs and cut in squares, oblongs, or triangles. Use white, wheat, graham, or brown bread. Three-layer sandwiches are also attractive when made with wheat bread between white slices. Another treat, egg sandwiches are made with hard-boiled eggs and mayonnaise. Mix yolks and whites, season with salt and pepper to taste, and moisten with mayonnaise. Spread mixture between thin slices of buttered bread prepared as for bread and butter folds. Happy eating! Mmm and drinking.